Oh yeah, just like oh, just... <laughs> nipples get really dark. Baby's fucking blind. It's like a bullseye. Visiting the spa, but with some pelvic pressure. <laughs> Perfect sexualized version of a woman is like this kind of skinny with these kinds of boobs. That's not mother nature. Ting Ting might be pregnant. Immaculate conception. <laughs> What's to prevent the husband from leaving? <laughs> I'm meeting my girlfriends at Jimmy's in Soho for some sunset cocktails, then headed back to the apartment for some serious girl talk. They're all super high achieving women in their 30s with no kids yet. This is Hannah King. <laughs> this is Novell. <laughs> and we're just hanging out. <laughs> now I'm very cranky. Like oh. before, leading up to it. Oh, yeah. So, like PMS? Yeah. yeah. And Alan's like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, yeah, that's what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. I tend to um, avoid all filming responsibilities during that time. Oh. You look uglier too, actually. Oh, really? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I track myself very closely because I film every day. Oh. It's very clear to me there are certain days and you're on camera and yeah. it's like, whoa, you look so good. And yeah. then there are some days when makeup came and like can't yeah. save the day and you're just like, fuck. I still have white hair. <laughs> oh yeah, no, me too. Like, I can see it actually in my own skin. Indentation um, here, right? Yes, like, it really shows. And also I have a lot of, because I have very deep smile lines. They Other see. people won't necessarily notice it, but you would notice yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But there's so much you can do about that these days, if it bothers you. Like how or who or where? In Asia, it's just so prevalent. That is actually really hard. Really? That is very hard because... What is this? Like it's like the... They call this leik gong, the, the tear the tear trowel. If you put something in there, like a hydroluronic acid in it, yeah. it tends to puff up. Yeah. It's very hard to get rid of. Yeah. But this one's a little bit easier though. I don't do any of the injections just because I worry about it not looking natural. But I do use like lasers and thermage, you know, like skin tightening stuff. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Skin tightening. Oh. 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 I was like, oh my, take a <laughs> Stimulates your deepest levels of collagen. It like kind of burns it to destroy it a bit and, and then makes it grow stimulate. back. Yeah. 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 Cool. There's this thing called Shui Guang Zhen. It's a mixture of fluids that they inject. Into your skin? Yeah. Okay. You do it once and it's like your whole face is just whoa! Like, oh, really? Yeah. Very severe collagen loss. Oh, really? Postpartum. It's Gosh. very severe. Why so, is that? Yeah, why oh, is because that? like the baby takes everything. <laughs> oh. The baby takes so much from you. It takes yeah. calcium for its bones. It yeah. takes your brain cells. It literally takes your gray matter, yeah. shreds it up, and then it goes and feeds the baby. You have hair growth during pregnancy, but you have huge hair loss after pregnancy. So like, this is already a very extended hairline. Like after pregnancy, it's just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be fucking bald. <laughs> Collagen is so obvious, cause like after birth, like maybe like a month afterwards, you will look in the mirror and go like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, I'm just like, it's a journey. <laughs> it's a journey. It's a journey. You don't want to go. Yeah. It's a journey of self destruction. <laughs> it takes all your nutrients. It takes all your it nutrients and all your brain cells. cells. Yes, yeah. it takes your brain cells. So that's what it legit. It legit makes you dumb. One of my first signs of pregnancy is I feel my brain slowing down. There will be a day in early pregnancy when all of a sudden you're like, what people saying don't make sense. <laughs> You know, it's like you and feel like you should matter. understand what they're saying, but you're like, it just doesn't add up. So how do you tell Donovan this time? This time I kind of told him from the beginning that there was risk, like real risk. But we'll find out. You know what? If this is a girl, but then it's perfect. Yes, but it would also prove certain theories that we have about having girls. Like you're supposed to do it as early as possible before ovulation so that all the Y sperm dies. The Y sperm dies first. Like you're not supposed to have an orgasm, the girl. Why? So orgasming actually helps to suck up the, the semen. So it helps the Y sperm kind of go up faster. Oh. So this time was one of the few times when I was not having fun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I made sure my wife was not happy so that we can have a girl. <laughs> I'm still thinking about how the baby just like makes you look more like fixing on this college because it really is important to looking youthful, you know, like more college and doing it. Yeah. yeah, if you're properly supplied, it will help, but yeah. it's very difficult for it to be like, for you to be unaffected. You know, Asians really care about so you it's yeah. For about a month, you're not supposed to leave the house, you're not supposed to do a lot of things, but the main idea is you're supposed to really rest, have other people take care of you, mm -hmm. eat all the right nutrients yeah. so that your body can replenish. Like, So eating a lot of things with ginger, ginger vinegar. So, yeah. That sounds great. I'm gonna great, do that right? 
but it's just... <laughs> I know yeah. that, that one's extreme. So, yeah. so I don't buy into that part, yeah. but all the rest of it, I think, it makes, so that makes sense. Makes total sense but, and it looks significantly older. older. Part of it is also because then you know you don't sleep for the next 20 years of your life. But <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I highly recommend. <laughs> I feel like I wish I could like target this part in terms of oh. Theoretically, if you just gain seven pounds, you have it. But the then you also gain, gain everywhere else, yeah. right? Can we be a supermodel skinny and then let's have cherubic <laughs> cheeks? Or like being supermodel skinny and having ginormous breasts. But like Emily Ratatowski, oh. just like... And, and real body. I was just... I had a baby. I know. Yeah. So don't look at her and think that's gonna be any of us, okay? <laughs> we can dream. <laughs> You guys would like this. Your boobs would get enormous, though. Even small boobs will. Yes. It will go up like three, four that? sizes. Yeah, I know. But what what happens afterwards after is size. like it it shrinks. It usually shrinks to smaller than what it was before. What? And then the skin around it gets really saggy, kind of like wrinkled balls. So. <laughs> The baby, I don't know. Mine are okay right now, but but they have gone through some trauma, I can tell you that. But does it fully recover? No, 50% recovered. <laughs> they probably significantly sagged by like three or three or four centimeters. No, really? Yeah, it was it was like here before and now it's clearly here. So I have put away money to get a breast lift. So why people get laser eye surgery? They cut a T, T-shaped incision, and then they just kind of remove the excess skin or they cut a circle or like a donut around the areola or they cut out the entire nipple and shift it upwards Ooh. either way it's not easy so i mean breastfeeding is great bottle feeding is also fine i breastfed both my kids the first one i was very guilt trip because everybody's like breast is best exclusively breastfeed for six months with my second one i wasn't so like i have to breastfeed so sometimes i supplement with bottles he's fine zero difference the idea that breastfeeding is free complete nonsense labor cost five hours every day your nipples will be bleeding and you still have to feed the kid while it's bleeding a lot of people get mastitis some people get like pus buildup do you know how much money people spend on like lactation the consultants yeah. the pump the bags to freeze the milk the breast is best it's not it's it's a very particular interpretation of child mother bonding from a nutritional point of view yes breast is good the reason why they say six months of exclusive breastfeeding is because for women in developing countries like africa the moment the mom stops breastfeeding it's very likely that this kid might die they might not have access to formula no. clean water mm -hmm. that's why the who gave the guideline for that but it's not because like bottle will kill your baby but actually nowadays breastfeeding is more of a sign of wealth because only rich women can afford to spend that much time pumping and doing all this extra stuff, you know? So it's become actually more of a status battle. Every single first time mom I know is under so much pressure to breastfeed. If you have too much milk, that's also hard. If you have too little milk, that's also really hard. I just wanna like destigmatize not breastfeeding. Yeah. It really isn't talked about enough in social media. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody really wants to hear it unless you're about to have a kid. But in your 20s, if I showed you this video, you'd just be like, oh my god, I wanna know. Yeah. I haven't even gone to birth. non-traditional advice so uh, uh, some of my doctor friends i was asking them should i get c-section or natural birth across the board my asian friends were like c-section it's planned it's stressless it's it's just so much easier but i heard that the force of the kid coming out of the canal makes it smarter i know Is my kid can be a few iq points dumber thank you <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many horror birth stories I've heard where people struggle for like 40, 60 hours trying to get the baby out? It destroys their vagina and their whole lower pelvic region and then have to go for an emergency C-section. When you're pregnant, your nipples get really dark. Yeah, why is that? Because the baby's fucking blind. Babies can't see well. Are you really? Yeah. But it's like a bullseye. <laughs> I'm really dead today. Yeah. I'm like, yes. 
all of these definitely hit me really hard the first time because I didn't know. Yeah. Perfect sexualized version of a woman is like, you know, maybe this kind of skinny with these kinds of boobs with these kinds of nipples. That's not mother nature, you yeah. know? And then they like talk about how much they enjoy the pregnancy process, how womanly mm. they feel. Mm. I went through 24 hours of labor. They're just so calm about it. And, oh. That is a stroll in the park it's and it's walk, like, you know, and it, it's going to be like visiting the spa, but with some pelvic pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I like hearing this because it's like, it could yeah. be really freaking painful when people get postpartum depression because Absolutely. they did not expect like this Absolutely. whole change to your body. When you're pregnant, all the attention is on the mother, right? The moment the baby comes out, it's like all the attention is on the baby. You disappear. Like all of your needs, all of your whatever is like is secondary to the baby. Instead of the whole family, just focusing on the child and then the mom's like dying here and like hoping for a glass of water and it's like nobody <laughs> fucking cares. Like kind of used. Yeah, no, I mean, for, for sure, like for sure. The vehicle to deliver something. That's right, that's right. Know? I would feel so used. Yeah. I'm like, hello. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm really retarded. What? I delivered this to my apartment. <gasps> <laughs> I, I just remember, oh my god, what do I do? Ting Ting might be pregnant. Immaculate conception. <laughs> Jesus. You know, Victor Konevsky always said, no one wants to see you think mm. on the dance floor. Like, mm. I don't, I'm not paying money. Yeah. You can ever see a stripper, she thinks she's thinking? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have to put your biggest strength aside, yes. which tends to be our brain. Well, especially for all of us who start dancing later. later. Yeah. And then we're all like, got great, we're like, usually good students. Good students yeah. in college and top yeah. colleges. This is the muscle. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a big perfectionist. Yeah, you are. Very, very perfectionist. You're a high quality. But how did you overcome that? I'm also a hyper realist. I want everything to be perfect, but I know the path to launching anything is not perfection. Is getting that first step and getting mm -hmm. it out the door. So, yeah. I mean, I watch a lot of videos about people who've made it as creators. The consistent thing is just set a schedule so that you force yourself to publish oh. before you can get it perfectly right. Mm -hmm. Because you launch and iterate. You really mm -hmm. do. So, so through the process of doing, you, you learn so quickly. The first 10 videos are really, really hard. Obviously, you're worried about being judged. For entrepreneurs too, right? Right. When you step out and do your own thing, you're, you want to be successful and you're worried about people judging you too. If you can live that and you can survive that, you know, then all the more power to you because you can replicate that success in a lot of areas of life, you know? Did you go through a period of like finding voice, the identity that would make you be able to gather the most amount of traffic? I want it to be the most successful that I can be, but I also want to have longevity because I know I can't fake a version of myself for too long. Always studying the data. Test something you have a theory about. Me doing this thing, does it work? Mm -hmm. If it works, then you add it to your portfolio of things that work, right? That makes sense, yeah. The um, thing is, you actually don't know yourself until you do it. I don't know myself as a, what I would be on screen. This is a version of myself that didn't exist a year before, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't say like this version of myself is inauthentic. It's just you're I'm, refining yourself. Yeah, I'm refining myself. Yeah, I'm yeah, discovering yeah. it. And I'm also improving because being on camera, you constantly have to judge like, does this look good? Am I communicating effectively enough? Am I holding people's attention? Mm -hmm. Just like a laundry list of things. Oh, mm. okay. You know, a lot of people like to do that. And that is not effective for anything. And the more yeah. videos, especially short videos that you do, you start everything with first the thesis. What am I trying to communicate? And then you always start with a hook. Mm -hmm. two to three second hook, how can I hook you in? And then how can I give you an executive summary of what's happening in one sentence? It turns into just an elevator ride with the CMO. Yeah. Yeah. But that punchline you're saying, mm -hmm. like the hook. the hook, really communicating that concisely and powerfully yeah. in less than a minute. Yeah, yeah. that's really difficult. Yeah. Oh my god, I just lost my train of thought. See, mommy brings. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I because was like, it was, I was expecting something. Yeah. <laughs> I literally, wait, what, what was the question? <laughs> oh my god. What's my name, Diana? <laughs> to be successful in any field, you need to be a hyper realist. It means that you have to observe things, not from the perspective of how you wish the world works, yeah. but from how it but actually it works. You just have to recognize that what is the system, what is the game that's being played, how humans intuitively respond to things. We all respond to beautiful things, sexy things, mm -hmm. and speed. Videos get shorter, it gets more exciting, it needs to hold attention. 
It's just human nature. You cannot fight that, right? That strategy and formula. Once you've decided that, there's still a lot of room to play with who you are. Mm -hmm. Catch people's attention first. So you cannot analyze people's paths to success by looking at where they are now, mm -hmm. right? So if you look at a finalist like Troz and Eno, they're actually not as crazy flashy as like some of the semi-finalists, yeah. right? So maybe you think that to become a finalist, I need to dance like Troz and Eno, but you have to look at them when they were semi-finalists. Yeah, that's a good right? point. Yeah. Right, so they had a path totally to being noticed that. first. Yeah, I always assume where they are. Of course not. Of course not. That's where they are now. But yeah. how they get there? Yeah, but once you're a finalist and you have you can do time, and you know, yeah. just like in corporate, it's like the people who rise to become middle managers are not necessarily people who can become CEOs. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like two sets of skills. Mm -hmm. And what gets you to the first one is not what's it's gonna not get what's going to get you to second. the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like gold over here. <laughs> are we above today? <laughs> We got really deep with this girl talk.